Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, live from Harlem, it's me, it's Alex, yes, and we're here with the Ramble till midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Larry Bubbles Brown, he's all the way out there in California. We're talking to him by telephone, in spite of the fact he now has high-speed internet. (laughs) I don't understand this, but... Uh, you're you're incorrigible. You know that, don't you? I'm old school. Is it your old school, or I sometimes I feel that you're afraid you're going to lose your reputation if you get too technical. No, I don't think it's that. But it's uh, I just uh, tend to anything with technology doesn't seem to work with me, and I don't understand yeah, but, it, and I hate it, and I get very frustrated. But you see, but but the point is. The reason that happens is because you expect it to happen. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In other words, you, most people defeat themselves ahead of time by going, oh, I can't, I can't understand this. It's impossible to understand. And I can explain almost anything to somebody in a way they'll understand. I have a guy who does a show for me who couldn't figure out how to do one thing and another, and he was in radio. So I likened it to, oh, well, you know, this is the transmitter and this is the blah, blah, blah. And then he began to understand the relationship of one thing to another. In, elect, in, in tech, the only thing you really have to know is the relationship of one thing to another. But, uh, and then if you need to fix it, just call me. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah. yeah but I always have, I always tell people, I tell Marjorie this, I tell a whole bunch of people this. Look, if it doesn't work, if your computer isn't working, reboot just start the computer over again and most of the problems will clear up they always forget to reboot they call me before they reboot <laughs> you know and it's the first thing you should do first reboot the app that isn't working and then if that's still not working then you reboot the machine that's all you know they're not perfect Anyway, that's your first lesson in technology, Larry. Okay. Well, I get. Uh, I was. Uh, you know what I was good at, and when VCRs came out, and remember nobody could set those up. What's that? The timer? You mean? The the timers and people didn't know how to. Uh, a lot of people had trouble getting them hooked up to their TV, and uh, someone told me just just look as the the VCR as a TV without a screen. So it's hooked. Uh, so you got the audio and the video coming out of that TV into your TV, and it made sense to me. So, yeah, I mean, it's uh, that. Although I will say that's more difficult, maybe, than a computer. Oddly enough, really. Well, in computers, they're doing most of the heavy lifting, you know. Uh, but I mean, I, I I'll tell you, I've got this studio set up here, and I set it up, what, eight years ago. And I've added things to it and taken things away. And underneath my desk is this rat's nest of wires. Okay? Which, uh, you say, well, why don't you go in there and just uh, reset everything, re- unplug things and replug things? And the answer is, I don't think I can. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> because um, uh, there are some, to begin with, there's so many wires that if I unplug them all, you know, and then replug them in, kind of trying to be neat about it. By the time I was through, there'd be another rat's nest of wires. They're, they're still, uh, they still got problems. But well, anyway. I remember when you had your little thing here in, in San Francisco, the, the wiring was unbelievable. Oh, it's all over the place. But it's always underneath the desk, you know. It's where people can't see it. But, uh, uh, you know, I have, uh, I have what? God, I, I think there are how many strips down there? I got about eight of them underneath here, eight uh, electrical strips, because I have that many things that need to plug in. 
you know. God. Well, really? You, 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 <laughs> you would have thought by now everything would have gone wireless. You know, you wouldn't have to plug in your electricity. It would just wirelessly go to whatever it had to go yeah, to. Yeah, why hasn't it? Uh, uh, because we they, they haven't. You know, for all we think this technology is wonderful, it still isn't. You know, and there's still too many problems with it. So, you know. I, way too many problems. Yeah, there are way too many problems. Well, what is the problem is we rely on it too much, you know. And, and so, therefore, uh, like, for instance, you have to, have you had to deal lately with a company by phone to, to fix? Uh, yeah, I dread that. You absolutely dread it. In the old days, you didn't. You got a live human being, and they went, what can we do to help you? Well, if you plug this in and you do that, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Now you can't even get a hold of a live human being. It's impossible. They, and if you do, they're not going to be in America. <laughs> no, here's what yeah, what I do is I call up and I go, and he goes, well, what would you like? And I say, let me talk to a human being. They say, well, before we can do that, we need some information. I have to go again. Give me a live human being. And after about the, <laughs> four, after about the fourth time of seeing that, the so-called AI in that system goes, we'll, uh, we'll put you on to somebody. Your wait time will be 10 minutes. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah. and then, then if you answered all the questions that the robot wanted, then they put you on to somebody who asks you the same questions all over again. So why did you answer them in the first place? Right, yeah. It's annoying. Yeah. What's your name again? Uh-huh. What's your, what's your PIN number? <laughs> what's the, I already said that to the machine. Well, the machine don't know shit. So, so you know, if you want to say you hate technology, I'm with you, you know. It's gotten to the point. I mean, you know me. How much do I love uh, love computers? You know. Yeah. I was like, I, I had to fight to use one in the studio at Live One Hundred Five. They went, don't don't bring that computer into the studio. I'm going. I need it. They couldn't understand it. Now you go into any radio station, and they're nothing but computers all around you. You were ahead of the curve. I'd rather be behind the curve and have the curve be doing the right thing, okay? But anyway, so, it, it you know, I mean, um, I, and I've gotten to hate computers. I just hate what they represent because the impl the what we did with them is we didn't make life better. Uh, we made life worse, oddly enough, you know? I mean, I like the fact, I used to have to, you remember the days when you had to get up early because you had to get to the bank? Mm hmm And you wanted to get them before they closed because, I don't know, banks opened at 10 o'clock in the morning and then closed at 11.30 or something like that. I mean, it was ridiculous. Four o'clock, right? Yeah, it's very yeah small three window. or four, yeah. So you had to wake up, like, uh, to deposit checks and things like that. You had to get up early and go down to the bank. Well, now you have ATMs. And that, that's the one thing I think has helped everybody, is the fact that the banks really are a 24-7 operation, and you can use them anytime. The only thing you can't do, well, you can. If you go down to the ATM, you can get cash out of the ATM. You know, So, I mean, it's a 24-7 operation. Well, that's because of computers. And that's fine with me. You know, There's a convenience I can understand. Mm -hmm. But when they're being used to make spam calls to you, and you know, how many? How many? Do you, do you get a lot of spam calls? I do. Yeah, uh, yeah. probably. At least when I'm here, four or five a day. That's not right. It's just, where's our government? Where are laws? Yeah, they, and they say they they can't track them down because they use they can use phony numbers or they look like different numbers. And, but uh, well, there used not, to be the do not remember the do not call re registry. <laughs> yeah, well, that didn't work. No, you know. Um, but uh, I mean, the government. Well, the thing is, you know why the government can't do anything about it? Most of those calls you're getting aren't initiated from within the United States. 
Right. They come from Russia or places like that. And, uh, you know, I, and then I hate it when I have to go to call. You, you say that you hate certain things you have to do, like, uh, oh, I don't know, call some delivery company or something like that. Uh, what's even worse is just having to um, call tech support at these companies. Because to begin with, it takes forever to get on to your tech support. And then once you get there, you answer a whole bunch of questions and they try a bunch of things. They say, well, I'll be back in three minutes, right? Okay, so go away, come back. I uh, can't get it working. And they says, I'll have to turn you over to our next tier. Well, why didn't you send me there in the first place, right? Right. And, and I use, for instance, I use GoDaddy as a as the server for a lot of my stuff, you know, like my website and so on. And every time I call them, this is true for the last eight years that I've been using GoDaddy, it's the same on hold music that's been there <laughs> for for eight years. They haven't upgraded. <laughs> they haven't upgraded it, and it's music that when you hear it, it like bores holes in your brain. <laughs> I love the elevator music. <laughs> and, and then they say, would you like it without music? And your first inclination is to say, yes, absolutely, without that horrible song you keep playing over and over and over and over again for the last eight years. But then you go, if I do that, I won't know they haven't hung up on me. So, yeah, play the music. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it's horrible. It's just terrible. So, you know, everything you feel about technology, I completely agree. There's only one place I disagree. We have to live with it. And so in certain, in certain respects, I refuse to have it have anything over me, okay? It's not better than I am. I'm better than it is, okay? So therefore, I want to know how everything works. Hmm. But I'm not sure I'd like a new car because that's apparently like driving a computer. Oh, yeah, it's nothing but a computer in the front. And by the way, when the computer goes out, your car doesn't work, you know? Yeah. Um, it, 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 it's, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. It really is. I mean, uh, I, it, you know, they should say, uh, you're buying a car, would you like it with or without computer? <laughs> you know? But you got a dashboard there that lights up and looks like a movie, you know? Yeah. But, you know, you could get a simpler car. You know, they, they have some that are just, you know, don't. Well, they're so complicated now. Somebody was had a big Ford truck, and their rear tail lights weren't working, and then suddenly things in the car start working, and they took it in. Normally, to play, replace the rear headlights would be like $70. So, unfortunately, the rear headlight, the tail lights were attached to a camera that would warn you if somebody was getting close to you in another lane. And the, anyhow, the the cost to fix it was fifty seven hundred dollars for the for the for the tail light. For the tail lights, because they were right next to the camera lights and some other computer connected thing, and the water got into that. So that's why the tail lights went out, and then everything was fucked. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. I, I, my, my mind's a little muddy today because, on top of everything, I'm taking an antibiotic. So, uh, and the antibiotic is playing hell with me. But uh, I'm trying to remember what it was that if you turn, if you didn't, t if it t if it stopped working, nothing else would work. And it was something I had recently that was a problem. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, got a um, uh, HP printer. Okay, now I'm not going to go through the whole mechanization of, of, of how this thing wound up being a pain in the ass, but basically it's that they want you to use their cartridges and they want you to subscribe to their cartridges. And your machine is hooked up to the Internet so they know when you're ready for new cartridges and they send them to you and then charge them to your account. And, of course, they cost more than some of the cheap third-party inks, which are just fine, but they won't work with this computer because it won't take third-party inks. So now, 
let's say you got four cartridges in there, red, blue, cyan, whatever, and, and black, all right? Are you with me so far? Yeah. All right. Let's say the black goes out, because that's always going to go out first, and you decide not to replace it. It's not like you can say, okay, printer, well, then just print with the three colors. It won't print. It will just stop. It's a brick. Wow, that sucks. Well, where's the government with that? Okay? I'm sure if somebody wanted to sue them, they could probably win. You know? So, I mean, yeah, well, that the, absolutely the sucks. The tech companies seem to be immune from any type of regulation. Well, they they do go after them right now. But they're trying... I think, who are they trying to get... Uh, I think they're trying to get um, um, Facebook to break up into several companies. I mean, they did that years ago, you know. The first time I remember it was in 1948. What happened was all the movie companies own their own chains of movie theaters. So when they had a big name movie coming out, where did they release it first? To their movie theaters. You remember there was like the Warner Brothers Theater and there was the you know, M- MGM theaters and so on and so forth. Oh, they actually own their theaters. Wow. They own the theaters. And in 1948, there was a, a suit against them, uh, and it was determined that they had to break up. They had to divest themselves of the movie studios. They couldn't be making movies and be the arm of distribution as well, okay? That that was restraint of trade because the little guy then couldn't get your movies. So they made them divest themselves. And um, I, even at one point, I think Warner Brothers bought all of pre. Who who bought pre? Was it, they brought pre Warner Brothers, nineteen forty eight Warner Brothers? Yeah, I think MGM bought up pre Warner Brothers, nineteen forty eight. So that like Casablanca was actually owned by MGM. I may be wrong about the companies and their relationship, but basically they divested the movie companies of being able to own the movie theaters, which cost them a lot of money, and 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 also of uh, just having too many movies and and so on. So uh, people like uh, like Warner Brothers had to divest themselves of their films. So it really, it, you know. It that was the biggest one ever. I think that was the first one I can remember. And then as time has gone on, there was a point at which I think Microsoft had to chop themselves up into several companies. But I think they did it in a way where they still own them. So, I think so because there was a huge lawsuit against Microsoft about twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. And they were supposed to divest themselves of certain entities within their corporation. And I guess they didn't uh, and they got away with it but big companies are getting away with stuff I'll tell you what, you know who gets away with stuff anybody who just says we're bigger than you are and we're not going to do it example I've got yeah. here with me in my life is my landlord who was told by the law that they had to charge a certain amount of money for this apartment I'll tell you what it is Five hundred dollars and seven cents a month for twenty five hundred square feet. Okay. <laughs> now, admittedly, that's really in New York City, where rents you know the average rent is I think three thousand dollars. It's off kilter. But the fact was that the landlord screwed up horribly. They were deceptive. The judge ruled that, and decided that this. Uh, rent had to roll back to what it was in 2003. So, okay, judge does that. All right, so now the landlord has uh, has options. And the first option is you go to the appellate court. So they put in a claim at the appellate court, and the appellate court says, ridiculous, denied, sends it back to the judge and to his determination on it. All right? But they're still refusing to honor things because they say, well, we're going to go to the, um, what do you call it, the um, um, uh, Court of Appeals. So they 
and really they have no option because really when you go to the appellate court, the appellate court allows you to go to the Court of Appeals, but they went to the Court of Appeals anyway, and the Court of Appeals said, get the hell out of here, you know, denied. It goes back to the original judgment. We have had trouble getting a renewal because they keep sending a renewal at a usually inflated price of $2,225 a month. But what they can't do that because our lease, in fact, was in that lower amount. Mm -hmm. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Well, we just sent them letters saying, my lawyers saying, you've now got to send them a proper lease renewal. That is, does not constitute a lease renewal because it has to be based on the original lease. And so far, he has heard nothing. So what are they going to do? They're going to just say, we don't believe in that verdict. We're just not going to abide by it. And, you know, when they do that, yeah, I can prevail. I can go to court and prevail. I can break it, get them th some of them thrown in jail for, for violating a court order. But how much is it going to cost me and lawyers to do that? I mean, it just goes on and on. So, so certain people and uh, entities in the society, especially landlords, just go, oh, well, that may be the judgment. I don't care. And they somehow they get away with it. Yeah, it's, they shouldn't. And, uh, God, they should be they're harassing you. Oh, well, it, is, it amounts to harassment. Yes, it does. Luckily, I mean, I have a lawyer, but l unluckily, I have an expensive lawyer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and every time something like this happens, a hiccup, it costs me money. And I'm going, this is ridiculous, you know? I mean, they, it's so, uh, I mean, eventually, they're going to have to, you know, go along with this. But, you know, they, they just, they feel they're above the law. You know, I own property. I'm above the law. Ha, ha, ha. So that's that's There's life. no justice in this country. No, no. Now you've been paying. How long have you been in that apartment? Uh, since the mid '80s. So that's a eighty. Plus eight. forty years, Jesus God. You've been in that apartment forty yeah. years. Yeah. And is it clean? Are, it's clean. Are, yeah. I mean, are you are you do you put everything away when you're through using it and stuff like that? Are you neat? Oh yeah, I'm a minimalist. I've got very little, few things to put away. Oh, oh a minimalist. Yes. So, uh, uh, you have a TV set. I do. Yes. Well, by the way, what kind of TV set? Does it still have a tube in it? It does. No. It, no. I bought, it, I bought it in '06. I think it was the last year they had tubes. And uh, Larry, a flat screen won't use up as much electricity. Right. So uh, I don't know if I get this thing so heavy. I remember it's very hard to get it in here. <laughs> how, how big is the screen? It's not even that big a screen. The thing weighed a ton, though. Oh, they all weighed a ton. Yeah. Uh, but but my friend Shecky, at one point, had the, went out and bought a 34-inch. Now, that was pretty big in those days. 34-inch Sony television set. And when he finally had to get rid of it, he had to hire people to come in and take it out because this thing weighed like 300 pounds. I mean, it was yeah. amazing. Whereas, you know, you get a flat screen now, you and a friend can just lift it up. It's only, and you could lift it up, but unfortunately. Yeah, I would love to have a flat screen. I got to get this thing out of here. Yeah, and by the way, they're really cheap. They're really cheap. Yeah, they're cheap. So. I bought a 55 um, inch uh, for our living room. To replace the old 55 inch that was there, it ran me 350 bucks. What? In the few, well, that's a few years ago, weren't they like six or seven thousand? Oh, I'm. I have. I had a friend, Steve, and he he was very proud of the fact that he had bought himself a a, a, a what do you call it a, a, a flat screen, and it was uh, I think it was like I don't know 55 inches or something like that. It was twenty thousand dollars. That's when they, that's when they first came out. Now you can, I, you know, three hundred and fifty bucks for a fifty-five inch, and that that may be a little bit on the high side, you know. 
Well, that was uh, technology not moving very quickly when you mm. see how long it took for TV to develop into a flat screen. Yeah. Well, because they had uh, the first time I saw a flat screen was in that uh, movie, it was 1966 movie, Fahrenheit 451. Oh, really? Okay. Which took place in the future, but they had flat screen TVs in, in their homes in the, in the future. So. In the future, we will all have flat screen TVs yeah. and a robot made. Anyway, hey, listen, got to go. Got to uh, go. Run out of time here. Always good to talk to you, Larry. And maybe good to talk to you, buddy. Eventually we'll be able to see you. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And hello, everybody. How are you? Good to see you. It's uh, it's Friday, and it's uh, time to uh, uh, talk to some of the people who call this program. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, let me get some coffee here. Uh, let me see here. And come in. Mmm. 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 Uh, why don't I just put it here? It won't spill. It's this. You know what? What I do now with coffee? I like make a cup of coffee right for the show. And then I will put my cream in there and whatever I'm going to put in there. And I come in here and I never drink a whole cup of coffee. I drink maybe, you know, a quarter of a cup of coffee. So lately what I've been doing is I take it, I put it in the refrigerator. And then I warm it up. And this was a cup I was using, I think, last, yeah, last night. I may have actually been using this on Wednesday as well. And I, you know... I just uh, don't, uh, you know, it keep using the same cup of coffee until it's no longer there. I, it's not that I'm trying to save money or anything, but I, I, it, it, if you warm it up, it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste any bad, any worse than it did when you first made it. So, you know, I don't, uh, I don't understand, folks, why, uh, why all of us don't do that. Don't throw your cup of, your cup of coffee away if you only do a little half a cup. Mar Marjorie does a whole cup. I mean, when she drinks coffee, she drinks a whole damn cup. And uh, um, so that uh, there's none left over. But in my case, I, I'm not, I've never been a big coffee drinker. I drink coffee on this program because it makes me think it's going to keep me awake. All right? Anyway, we got a bunch of people here, and they're all waiting to come on. Uh, and uh, let me see here. Yep, there are all people that I know that are real people and not uh, not uh, uh, fake people who will then show us porn. Uh, hello to uh, Kevin. How are you doing this evening? Hey, Alex. How are you doing? Yeah. And uh, Tom Yamaguchi, good to see you, Tom. How are you doing? Hey. I'm doing good. I uh, have nice warm weather here in the Bay Area. Yeah. And uh, I can tell you that you have a great excuse for not wanting to be in San Francisco right now. Well, I, I've seen a lot of excuses for not wanting to be in San Francisco, but what's one of the good reasons? It's Fleet Week. And ooh, ooh, the Blue Angels ooh, are out. Oh, flying oh. around. God. You know, I almost was going to come in this weekend. Because they're having a like reunion for Live 105 or whatever, and I was going to go, uh, <laughs> but uh, I didn't go. So I miss Fleet Week. Great. <laughs> You're they had a Fleet week. week up in San Francisco, and they got the air show down in Salinas. So we got jets flying everywhere. What well, the trouble with Fleet Week? And I'm right the, in between them. They got those goddamn Blue Angels, and they <clears throat> they used to to begin with. Here's the stupid part about it. Uh, so I would come home after the show, and about noon, 1 o'clock, I would go and catch a nap. And about 1 or so, they would ta decide that they were going to fly. The Blue Angels were going to fly. Now, were they flying for a show during Fleet Week? No. It was Fleet Week, but this was their rehearsal. Now, yeah. I don't know about you, but I, what, do they, what do you tell people? Don't look. Yeah, we're rehearsing. We're rehearsing. I like I like that shit. I I love it because I was a, down in yeah, Monterey. You, at my doctor. You, but you weren't living under it. They were. I was going down at the right. doctors, and 
Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, no, they were just going over and top above my uh, my my apartment, and I mean they were not high above my apartment. No. You know, and then they would fly in over the city, which they don't <laughs> do on the actual show. They're only allowed to do it in the bay, and they would like go just just hover close to buildings. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, they were this far away from the building. I mean, it was ridiculous. Well, they got to make sure they don't hit it. So that if they hit it before the show, then they know that they yeah. got too close. Yeah, that, yeah. right, exactly. Yeah. But yeah. No, I was down, well, the, uh, down in Monterey, the same thing. I was down in Monterey yesterday, no, the day before. Mm-hmm. Whatever day it was, it was a day or two ago. Uh, anyway, I was well, down there, well, and you know, all of a sudden I'm sitting in the office, and I hear this <laughs> going over the top because we're right call by the airport. Call me a big old fart. Okay, go ahead. Tom, am I an old fart? We're both old farts. Yeah, we're both old farts. <laughs> but I got to tell you, there are two things I, I never could understand. Why people want to watch the Blue Angels. Ooh, look, they almost killed themselves. You know, come on. <laughs> you know? And then like the other it. thing I never could understand, I never could understand fireworks. Like, for the most part, aren't they all the same? Yeah, after a while, yeah. Yeah, and people go to the fireworks and they go, ooh. Ooh, ah. What? It's the same fireworks they did last year. You know, they have a few well, new. Now they have drone shows. That, Those that, are that's new. That's interesting. I would be interested in that. Yeah, you know why? Because they don't explode. They don't make noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I don't like well, you, at you my age. You go on YouTube I, and you could probably see the Grateful Dead had a really good drone show during their last their last shows in San Francisco. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. Nice the, and quiet. Yeah. And they send up like a thousand of them or something, don't they? And they yeah. All, it was a whole bunch of and them. And they all form formation. And they all animate. And then, you know, they yeah. tell you to fuck yeah, off. Yeah. And that's else fine there. with me. You know, I <laughs> You know, one of those things falls and hits a building. It's not going to do much damage to the building, but go by drone. <laughs> yeah, somebody just take it and chuck it over the fence to somebody else's yard, right? Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. I guess maybe it's noise I never liked. You know, Well, one it, time, you know? one time I was, my family, we were taking a ferry from from the East Bay to San Francisco, and I just flew right over the ferry, and... Our youngest daughter was only a couple of years old at the time, and my ears were just ringing all the way to San Francisco. It was really horrible. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they're it's deafening. I took yeah. my daughter up to uh, the, was it K-Fog or Camel that used to do the fireworks up there in San Francisco? I did. I, One of the two I, did Yeah, it. I don't know who did fireworks. And I took her up there, and it scared the living crap out of her. She was about four or five years old. And I had to hold her down. She couldn't. You know, well, well, I mean, also, uh, fireworks um, sometimes can make uh, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the um, uh, uh, car alarms go off. Oh, yeah. You know, and um, what happens here in Harlem, we don't have to worry about the big show they do downtown. Kids go out and buy fireworks. And I'm not talking about just, you know, a cherry bomb here or a, f- a no, firecracker no, no. there or a sparkler, you know. Th- that's my speed is a sparkler, well, okay? That's um, um, no, no. They've got these things that they're like gigantic. I mean, the, 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 it's as big a show almost as they do out in the river here. It is that and more. I mean, our, our town down here, I call it Little Baghdad. It's, it's yeah. tremendous. Yeah, but but do you know do you know why in the last couple of years they've been able to lay their hands on these big professional yeah st- things? In the last couple of years it's been going on for twenty three years. Anyway, here. some of these things would go off and they would bang so hard that all the alarms in the neighborhood would go off. Yeah. So not only have I got the bang, but I got the alarms going off. Yeah. And, and where are the cops? They're watching the fireworks going ooh ah you know. donut shops. Mm-hmm. Have you guys have you, have you guys seen these uh, videos coming from the U two in the Sphere in uh, in Las Vegas? Well, that's uh, you know the Sphere is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think but I, I got to tell you, I don't know if I'd want to see YouTube there, and I'll tell you why. YouTube, YouTube. Well, I, I don't care for YouTube. Uh, YouTube, but... no, I don't either. But why I would why I wouldn't want to see YouTube there is because I've watched the videos, and the place just completely makes them look so tiny and so small 
Well, every single person, when you see a video of it, you see down where all the people are, and everybody's just sitting there like this. You know? Yeah, they're not watching the show. They're, they're not watching not, the show now, at all. Granted, the, the whole inside of that dome is the world's biggest screen. Yeah. It puts IMAX to shame. Okay. Yeah. On top of that, who's ever going to go back and watch that on their phone? What good yeah, is they're it? Just showing, they're just showing off to see that they were there, that show that they were there. That's well, all I'll tell you funny. what. I, I I would rather not go into the sphere. I'm happy sitting outside looking at some of the things they put on the sphere. Yeah, outside. I mean, yeah, I've they been... have one in one of the malls in Vegas also. It's just a round ball that's in the center of the mall. Mm -hmm. And that thing is a trip, too. That thing like this with the sphere does. Not as much, but... Well, no, but the, you, but know, like, you know... There's that... like a mirror on the outside of that. And you can walk up to it. You can see yourself on this. It's a digital thing. It's pretty crazy. Well, they do have another sphere in, in Vegas. Um, and the sphere is really not... Uh, is 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 owned by the same people, which is Madison Square Garden, by the way. Hmm. Uh, but they own this smaller sphere, which is their test sphere. They Maybe test that's the one. Yeah, they test all their Indoor, stuff right? out in on, the mall. Yeah, they test yeah. all their stuff out there to see how it would look on yeah. the sphere. Yeah. But uh, I saw the one with the eyeball. That was the weirdest looking thing. Yeah. Where they had the eyeballs <laughs> looking around. Yeah, and yeah. it would blink. You know, like a real eyeball. Yeah. That was strange looking. And inside, they can make it look like the outside. Yeah. You know, it's big enough that they, and they have enough cameras and so on, that they can actually, during the day, take a picture of the outside, and oh. while you're sitting inside, it seems like you're outdoors. Yeah. It's, uh, I, would, I would love to see that, but then again, that's one of the things I never will, because Marjorie doesn't want to go to Vegas. I don't want to go to Vegas. I I'll go, look, you don't want to spend more than two days in Vegas. Forget it. Uh, because it gets very boring after two days. Because I've had to spend five days there during conventions and things like that where company I was working for was, you know, showing their products and so on. And I, uh, uh, after like two days, I was going squirrely, you know. But, I mean, go there for a couple of days, see the place. You've never seen it before. Enjoy it. You know, and, and uh, you, won't go, you won't go crazy. Hello, uh, 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 Josh. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah. Anything interesting going on in your life? In my life? My life's pretty uninteresting, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's about like mine is these days. Yeah. Probably not much different. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the most exciting thing for me is that my dentist says he's going to have to pull my tooth. That was the yeah. most exciting thing, you know. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. Well, no, it, it's no problem pulling it. About tooth. the easiest thing you can have done at the dentist, to be honest with you. Honest with you, I've never. It seems like anything other than that's what's the real pain in the rear. Yeah, it takes forever. And it yeah, but you know like what? You know what the real pain is? Is that they they then have to go do the implant, and that's not painful either. And then they have to put on the false tooth, and that's not painful either. And then you get the bill. bill. That's what's painful. Yeah, I mean, it just you know, if unless it's like the very last in the back or something, you didn't want to do it or whatever. But yeah. Why doesn't Medicare cover dental? Oh, listen, why? But we're fighting to keep Medicare. Why am I asking those questions? You know. Mine does. Huh? My Medicare Advantage plan covers dental oh how much uh actually it's a really good deal 14 dollars a month wait a minute hold on a second to begin, health with, and dental. to begin with health and dental yeah how much dental do you get it's unlimited it's hmo oh wait a minute yeah but it, is it 50 percent if you get a cavity or a bridge oh or i see what you mean yeah uh, yeah it's uh you know, like I had uh, one filling done. Uh, I can't compare it because it's two different places. All I'm saying I'm, it's is... Like, it's like work. All I'm it's saying like is work. Medicare Advantage is a, is a bad idea. If, you're oh. gonna, if you can afford the supplemental, that's the way to go. Okay. Because what happens is you've lost your Medicare. Yep. It's disappeared, wow. my friend. Now, so so I, I, I've been a Kaiser member my whole life. And even Kaiser, doctors, even Kaiser, if they're doing an advantage plan, 
They yeah. take over your Medicare, and yeah, you and you don't have Medicare anymore. Yeah, I still do it. it no, you don't. Kaiser. No, you don't. It, let Charlie explain it to you, Charlie. My mother-in-law does the same thing, and 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 she pays through the nose for her dental stuff. I mean, she gets a tooth pulled, and it's five thousand dollars. Uh, yeah, stuff I don't like know. That. I haven't I haven't any teeth pulled, so she's getting a root canal or something like right now, and she says it's going to cost me two thousand dollars. Yeah, and she's got Kaiser. Well, yeah. I have a I have a plan that through my uh, Marjorie's work, which we're going to start having to pay for ourselves. It's only it's only fifteen hundred dollars a year that they compensate you, you know. Yeah. But am I right, Charlie? With the yeah, with, that's with, the one I've got. I think it's like two thousand, but they don't pay a hundred percent. They only right. pay like fifty percent or whatever right. you get. Yeah, it's, it's like up to a maximum of two thousand dollars. After that, you're on your own. It's just like work. There's no limit on my plan. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, but it, I'm, but, it's, I'm, but it is I'm, about it is about fifty percent. But I guess I, I'm sorry. I'm year. sorry. You, if you better go back and look at it, I'm sure it is not that way. Alan, I'm telling you, okay. you haven't had enough dental work now to know that there's a cap on how much they're going to pay. I have it right here. I mean, you can't see it, but Delta Dental. Yeah. And, oh, Delta Dental is fifteen hundred a year. Hmm. No, no, it's, no, no, it, no. Delta no. Dental is fifteen hundred a year. I know I've had Delta Dental. Okay, but the Delta Dental through the Kaiser Advantage plan that they have. You're wrong. You better you better go you better go check on I'm telling you. I yeah. and I'm telling you I'll I'll send you the document. I'm telling you the yeah. advantage plan dental is no oh, great. It's not shape. the best. It's not it's Delta Dental USA, which is uh not uh, probably a lower end, but but what I do get is I get X-rays for free. Yeah. Three three cleanings a year for free. Uh huh. Okay. Checkups for free. Uh huh. Okay. What the I had one filling. I had one filling installed, and it cost me a hundred and fifty dollars. So it's about half off of what a regular dentist would charge it. I mean, it was a regular dentist, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, Charlie. Out of your Charlie. Well, the, the worst part about Medicare, Medicare Medi what do you call it, the Advantage program is that you really are trading in your government financed uh, medical insurance for a, a private company's medical insurance, and they get a lump sum. You you get you you're on their plan. They get X number of dollars a year. The only way they make profit is by denying you payment for, for services that you want. For instance, in, uh, and by the way, try going over to Kaiser right now. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a different story. Yeah, the, the, um, you're absolutely right though, Charlie, but the problem is what happens is with, uh, with Advantage is that they change the whole rules. I mean, like with the, with the medical I have, that we, we're paying $300 a month for, uh, what happens that is, uh, you know, most of all is that we we get to. Uh, when I'm hearing some sounds somewhere, where, where is Kevin's on his phone? Kevin's Kevin on. Oh, well, I see. Okay. Kevin mute. Yeah. Kevin mute. No, the fact is the advantage uh, to begin with won't let you go to just any doctor you want to. Okay, and I, I it, and there, and there's certain things they won't cover that a supplemental account will cover. I mean, okay. like I go into a doctor right now with what we've got, and I just walk out. I don't pay a penny. Don't pay a penny. Good you know. deal. So. Good deal. Yeah, but what? am I right, uh, Charlie, that it, it strips you of your yeah. Medicare? Now, can you go back and get rid of Advantage and go back to yeah, Medicare? After, at, at the next open enrollment next year. Can you? Well, I'm, uh, you know, here, here's the deal. That's not I, the question I, I'm asking, Alan. I think it's not that easy. There really is. It, I don't think it's that easy to go back just during the next year. Once you turn down Medicare and get Medicare Advantage, it's very difficult to go back to regular Medicare. I didn't turn down Medicare. You did if you got a Medicare Advantage. That's what you do. If you have Medicare Advantage, you you do you no have long, down You no longer have Medicare. Advantage. Okay, so you, you've got to have Medicare in order to get Medicare Advantage. They pay Kaiser a No, 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 no. Right, no. that's right. They pay Kaiser a lump sum. Yeah. And Medicare has no choice. But and that, then you Kaiser are no longer in the Medicare sphere of influence. Okay? 
you're simply at the mercy of whatever your HMO or your your. Uh, I'm happy with Kaiser. You need I've, had a, I've had a most. Kaiser says no. Are we going to pay for it? Guess what? You're out of luck. Uh, guess what? You're wrong. No, I've you're wrong. No, that's you're enough. wrong. I, I've had it happen to me a couple times, not under Medicare, but under regular Kaiser, and they have. Hey, go okay, to, do me this. Do me do me it. do me this tomorrow, okay? Go okay. on to Medicare dot com, and okay. see if you have an account. I do. No, I you was on it a half hour ago. Was that a Medicare account or was it Kaiser Medicare? Medicare account. I don't have my Medicare card here. It's okay, on my wait phone. A I've 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 been on Medicare. What am I, seven? I've been eight years now. I've been on Medicare. Eighty? Eight years. You're just now turning 65. You haven't right. even been on Medicare yet. Right. I'm telling you, you look at the fine print. If you go to Medicare Advantage, it says you, you have to sign that you're giving up Medicare. That's what I had to do. Okay. Okay. Well, are you happy? I, do you have Advantage, uh, Charlie? Yeah, because the state, that's, the, that's oh. how they pay 100% of everything. So, okay. So what they what what what, what, what your what your advantage percent. doesn't pay for the state does, right? Okay, that's under your state plan. Okay. But that, no, that's under, a special deal because there's five hundred thousand Texas state employees. They have a special deal with uh, United Health. Now Brian Act. doesn't care about what we're talking about yet, <laughs> and neither yeah. does Josh. <laughs> but Tom Yamaguchi, are you you're you're in a you're a Medicare guy, right? I'm on Medicare, and I have my uh, employment-related um, okay. insurance as secondary. And okay. that's where I also get my dental, which is Delta very, Dental. Very good. Which, you know, <laughs> you're absolutely right. You know, uh, there I hit the cap I mean, the, with the, my last root canal. The best I ever had was when I was uh, with uh, uh, SAG-AFTRA's insurance, and they gave us $2,500 a year in dental, which was considered yeah. pretty good you know uh but uh, all i'm saying is is that that uh you you know you don't want to be in a position where you have anything where they refuse you to go see a, any doctor you want to see because sometimes you get a kind of bad uh case of the oh. well, like i did with so you 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 don't have that option in the advantage plan you're right what option I do have is all the doctors I've been seeing for 20 years. Well, no, because so. it's a Kaiser Advantage plan, that's, so that's it's right. associated with the place you've always been going to. That's right. And it's so, all on one yeah. campus. I yeah. don't have to go from place to place to place to place. And they've taken good care of me. Look at me. I'm still alive, you know? Well, go over there right now. <laughs> but they're actually open. The strike's over with as of 6.30 tonight. Oh, so. yeah. They, they're they only striking for like three days at a time, right? right? right. Something like and, that. And it's not everybody. It's just the LVNs and the clerks. Or the, the RNs um, settled their stuff last year. And the doctors don't go on strike because they're a not-for-profit organization, which means at the end of the year, if they got extra money, they distribute it among the doctors. Are they non-profit? I didn't know that. They're a not-for-profit corporation. Still to this right. day, to this day. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, there was a time when medical insurance uh, was non-profit. Yep. And had to be non-profit. And I, you know, it was Reagan that made them, allowed them to go out and make a profit. And now paying for, for insurance is almost impossible. I mean... Yeah, so the, so I mean, the good thing with the not-for-profit is... The doctor doesn't make any more if he does surgery on you or not. And so they tend to be more conservative maybe than your doctor with yours, but but I, I've always got the care I needed. And it doesn't matter if it's surgery, drugs, any type of care, x rays, MRIs. Are you are whatever. you are you insulting my doctors? Uh, you do a good job of that yourself. No, my doctors have been pretty good. You know, I mean, I've, yeah. I've run into some crooks here and there, you know, but that happens. Yeah. If, if you, and with Kaiser, if I don't like my doctor anymore, I change to another Kaiser doctor. I understand how the Kaiser system here, Here's works. the thing I hate, though. I mentioned this the other night. This is the uh, uh, annual notice of changes yes. to my prescription plan. Uh, last year, my prescription plan per month cost $40.90. Okay. Okay. Next year, 
it's going to be seventy-eight dollars and seventy cents. Well, it's almost year. double what it was yep. this year. Wow. We have to have like the government has to intercede, and there has to be some kind of system where if one of these companies wants to raise their rates, they have to clear it through the government. You know. Yeah, Trump was trying to do that. Get rid of Medicare. No, no, no. What am I, I'm not talking about getting rid of Medicare. Okay, good. I was talking about the price that insurance companies are charging. Yep. Listen to me. Okay. Okay. Can we talk about the Blue Angels? They're in town. Yep. Yeah, really. Let's, let's talk <laughs> about the Blue Angels. Yes. We well, I used to hate the Blue Angels, right, Alex? Huh? <laughs> Still does. I'm not even there, and I hate them. <laughs> oh, well, they're in the Bay Area this weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you know what happened? You know, I did this whole thing on the air where every year I would rail against them and just, yeah, you know, just, oh, here they are again, and they're making noise, and they're driving me crazy, and I can't get my nap, and they're going too close to buildings and all of that. Oh. So one year they get a hold of me, and they say, we'd like to take you up. <laughs> Mm. Really? Now, how many of you would like to go up with the Blue Angels? Well, yeah. good. I turned them down flat because I knew what was going to happen if I went up with them. Oh, well, they, wouldn't went be, up, they wouldn't be happy. Your lunch is going to come up, too. I'm yeah. sure they would have like a salad bar garden in front of me so that when I threw up, it wouldn't get all over the pilot. Yeah. You know, because... They and I don't throw up easily in airplanes, but they were going to make sure that I did. Oh yeah. So I turned them. And that down. way they can broadcast. Alex Bennett on the morning show threw up with the Blue Angels. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I didn't see any advantage to it. Okay. Uh, a great view, huh? Have you ever been in a fighter jet before? That's the advantage if you were interested. Uh, yeah. When in I that. was when I was in the Air Force, I flew one. Yeah, but that was a prop. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you talk about your days in the in the military, I always think of 1940, 1942 when the when the guys on the, the Ferris wheel just sitting there, Santa Monica, waiting for the Japanese to come. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh yeah, right. But uh, no, well, I spent two years in the military. You know, unlike most talk show hosts, you know, I never spent any time. Um, hey, thank what, you for your oh, service. What about the latest? How do you feel about? Uh, about our top secret military clearances okay. being the knowledge of Donald Trump. Gary. Very scary. And these are the only the things that we find out about. What about all the stuff that we haven't found out about? Yeah. I mean, is he a moron? He is a moron, isn't he? Yes. I mean, he's getting the point. Of, it's just... He likes to have lunch with the Australians, though. Huh? He likes to have lunch with the Australians. Yeah, and impress them with his Good ability job. to say, "Hey, you know, he, we, uh, we." He told them all about what, how many nuclear weapons were on every submarine. Yeah, but moron. But that's him. That that's him. He he wants to impress people by saying stuff. Now I know that Australia doesn't have any plan to attack us anytime <laughs> soon. But if they want to, now they have all the uh, all the yeah. reasons to. I wonder if the military told Trump the truth about how many missiles we really have. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I hope not too. Well, oh, 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 hold oh on, God. hold on, oh, got to get rid of this. I got to get rid of this. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Oh God. Okay, well, let me see here. Let me get rid of him. Oh jeez. Move. Uh, okay. Well, I got to be very careful now. Whenever I see that name up there, that was somebody uh, that we know, folks. Uh, I'm sorry if uh, there was a little problem. There. Did I get rid of it pretty fast? Yes, yeah. yes, it's okay. gone. It's gone, gone now, Brian. Yeah. My eyes are burning though. That's yeah. That. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was no. pretty shit. That's something you can't unsee anymore. <laughs> I may go back and try and edit that out of the show. Oh you know. God! Or I may just I may not. What I may not do is post this show uh, tonight. That was of that. gross. Well, yeah. Sometimes they that get was through. Worse than the 
Well, I was gonna say you guys complained about gay porn, and I'm, yeah, I was not there. there. <laughs> okay, was I, I would rather watch gay porn yeah. than watch anybody <laughs> take a dump. You know, um, but uh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. But he was using Bree. Bree's name. Yeah, so. but it said free man instead. And it, of what? Don't, don't say. Don't say. Don't say it, Charlie. Don't say it, Charlie. Don't say it, Charlie. Don't say it. No, it doesn't matter. You, we, you have to scream everything. Yeah. Um, no, we know everybody. what he did. We know what he did. Don't let him know. Yeah, but we got screen everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. yeah. Well, we got rid of him. Uh, I'm sorry about if, that. If but... People that want to call in, send you a code on their phone. And do your oh, email. don't make it so difficult. Just screen everybody. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just won't. What I won't do is I won't post this show or uh, this show tonight. What there. is this? You keep getting a thumbs up in a circle on your on your screen. What? Yeah. Uh, Right in the middle, yeah. See, other people are seeing it too. There's a yeah. in the middle of your thumb. screen, Alex. It says we keep getting a, a white thumbs up. Yep, a white oh, thumbs you up. Have somebody else doing that on the panel. I don't think that's possible. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, this no, is this. Like see, you can do like this. Yeah, but and that's oh, what yeah, it looks like. It. But it's bigger. It's about well, yeah. it's about a size of a dime on my screen. Well, I don't have anything like that here. I, I and I don't it see it going out. Times. What? It's not yeah, gross. Thought, yeah, it came up several times. Yeah, I saw a couple of times. But I thought somebody else. Well, that, no, that's your. Well, that you're doing it. Thought, no, it was a silver, oh, yeah. like a grayish a, one that was like a circle, and it was yeah, a white one. one. And it yeah, comes up like a cartoon just bubble. Me that saw it. Hmm. It's like a cartoon bubble. It's okay. It's a UFO. No, but I'm no not. investigation. I'm not doing it. You know. Okay. No, I've else. never seen it before. I've right. never seen it before either. Hmm. Well, I have no idea what it is, so I mean, I don't yeah. see. It. Well, it's gone now. Hmm. Gone now, yeah. Somebody's hmm. testing something. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, so I won't post the show tonight. You know, <laughs> what the hell? There's nothing wrong with that. Would have been the perfect show for Phil Meyer to be on. Oh, well, anyway. Well, that was Phil Meyer. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, uh, I, 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 I don't feel I have a need to apologize for it, but uh, I'm not going to stop doing these shows because some people get through occasionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I've been pretty good at keeping them away, but as soon as yeah. I saw Bree's name. Yeah. Uh, and was it a different name than he usually uses? Yeah, no. it wasn't the one that he uses. It was his full last name. Full Bree last name? No, he has used his full last name on occasion. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, otherwise they wouldn't know that. And it wasn't his real last name. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do something with this show to make sure that everybody who wants to get on the show can get on the show by just uh, letting me know, you know, that they who they are and you know that they want to be on. Uh, because, but this is this is you know I've got I'm going to come up with some kind of system. To, because I hate to censor everybody who I don't know because somebody might be calling the program who, yeah. uh, you know, wants to be on it. That, uh, you know, but anyway. So, um, so anyway, getting back to, jeez. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm upset by that. I really am. Um, you know, and, and also I think that... Um, Zoom should have a system where we can find the IP address of those people. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know, that it's Turn them in. from my end, I should be able to know their IP address and then be able to give Zoom that IP address and have that IP address blanked. I'm not yeah. sure Zoom has my IP address right now because I'm going through. I don't think that. Zoom has any IP address. Well, I was no. just going to say that they could use a VPN and. Come That's in I'm, and I yeah. use a VPN on my computer. Well, they could so. use a VPN. There's some people could get through, but it would be harder for them, you know. Okay. In order to make it more difficult for them, either that I could just stop doing the show, you know. No, 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 no. Then no. they win. Yep. Then, then they, they win. win. Yeah. Yeah, the terrorists win. Yeah, but Zoom always says to me like. Uh, Oh, you know, you're you're publicly notifying people what your Zoom number address is. Well, then Zoom should yeah. come out with a system that is a little different than that, where people can just call the program and I just say, hey, 
You know, I don't have to, they don't have to have that address, but it's, um, you know, it's a, a dip more difficult system. I probably have less of a problem with Skype in that I can control that more, that aspect of it, but, you know. So uh, Tony Magno's listening to the show. He says, Alex should have a, a password. I don't know why he's texting me now. Alex should have a secret done. passcode. He does. <laughs> No crooked teeth Italians allowed on the show. <laughs> I know he's listening. I mean, I just, I, why are you texting me, Tony? I'm on the show. There goes the bubble. There goes the th thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Away. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that look, me? look at the YouTube. Watch the YouTube delay. You'll see yeah. it. Well, let me see here. It was on the YouTube delay. I'm looking. I'm looking. Got to give it eight, ten seconds. Yeah, I'm giving yeah. it eight, ten seconds. Yeah, there it is on YouTube. Yep. N n no, I don't see yeah. it. I'm watching YouTube. I do. I yeah. see it too. Oh, there yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Where's that coming from? <laughs> That's what we, said. we don't know. <laughs> so you're the chosen one from an outer planet that's trying yeah. to contact you. Hmm. Let me see here. Spotlight for everyone, hide self view. There's nothing here that would say that I was doing anything. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. So, Alex, what, what did he, what's this Live 105 reunion that you weren't invited to? Well, I, uh, well you did, find did, out did, everything, did, don't did you? The, what's her name? Did the, what's her name make it back? Lori? Well, yeah, Lori, Lori went to go to the reunion, but she got there a week early. <laughs> Did she did she leave and come back? No. No, she, oh, just, she left. just left. She said yeah. that she would just go see a whole bunch of people and kind of hold her own reunion. <laughs> no, <laughs> you yeah. Know. Um but uh you know I, I you know I don't I don't I, it was funny. I was kind of separate from the rest of that station. So a reunion doesn't really mm -hmm. you know I mean, if I had a reunion, I'd have it with the people who were on my show. Right. You know? Yeah, because those were maybe a couple of the people I liked. Uh, you know, I liked a couple of the other people at the station. Steve Masters, I liked, and mm. uh, Rick, um, and a few other people like that. I like them Rick. too. Big Rick. Yeah, I like yeah. Big Rick a lot, actually. Mm. Um, in fact, I believe I helped get him a job. At uh, the quake, mm. because I I I heard him, and I, I he did he just he came in and substituted for somebody, and then I ran into the program director and he said, "You got to hire that guy. Mm. That guy's the most natural broadcaster I've ever heard in my life." Mm. Um, but anyway, so I just didn't, I didn't have any big desire to go out there, you know. Yeah. You know, I, I I hate reunions anyway. I, I in fact I've avoided all but one of my high school reunions mm -hmm. because you know I mean I went to one reunion. You'll love this. I went to a reunion, and I'm so you know, you're walking around, you're talking to people. Hey Ben, as they called me. You know Ben, how are you doing? Fine. You know. Uh, and finally, somebody comes up to me, starts talking to me, and says, how have you been, Ben? I said, fine. And we're talking back and forth, and I'm saying, is your life going good? Yeah, my life's going good. And then he, he says, so what do you do? And I said, well, I'm in broadcasting. I, you, know, you know, I was always interested in broadcasting, and so I, uh, I went into it. And then he stopped for a moment, he looked at me, and he went, you're Alex Bennett. <laughs> And that's why I never went to another uh, another reunion. Because, you know, you go to a reunion, you don't want to say, hey, you know me? You hear that guy on the radio? That's me. That's Alex Bennett, you know. So you just, you're Ben Schwarzman there, you know. And uh, it, it just, it's terrible. It's just terrible. So what can I say? You know. So, um uh, I don't go to reunions. They just they're, they're boring, and th oh, they held another one. I told you this story. They held another one that was going to be on a boat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Up in pe up in around Petaluma, I think there's a, some river up there or something. And yeah, uh, I pull river. up. I pull up 
to the to the boat in my car and I'm looking and I'm looking at the people getting on the boat and they're all old people <laughs> like Charlie's shirts all the old people wow they look like old yeah but they're all yeah. old people and now I'm on the phone to like my girlfriend and going I can't get on this boat I begin, to begin with, if I get on the boat, it goes out in the river, and then there's no way of getting off of it. You're stuck on this boat. And I'm being stuck on this boat, basically, with old people. And I suddenly realize, of course, I'm as old exactly as they are. Because I, I did go to my Durrani's high school reunion, and I realized that what was interesting about a reunion was that everybody in this room within a, a, a center pole, let's say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on either side of it, were basically the same age. Yeah. yeah. And how different everybody looked. There were mm -hmm. people that looked old, 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 and other people that looked like they weren't anywhere near the age of anybody else. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, but, uh, but still, you're stuck on a boat. That's the difference. Yeah. So I never went on. I just turned around and went home. I paid for the thing and everything, and I just didn't go. Yeah, so that was my 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 the last time I thought about going to a reunion. The last one I went to, it just felt like high school again. The same cliques were hanging out, and the same jocks and all that stuff. Yeah, and the bullies were still bullies, and uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I did see some people that that I wanted to see because I hung out with them, mm -hmm. and then. You know, then didn't see each other, and then I yeah. So that was, that was pretty fun to remember some. Well, here's the depression. If they hold another of my high school reunions, I'm not going to go because I'll be the only one there. <laughs> you know that's. Did you go to high school in Marin County or in San Francisco? Yeah, Marin County, Marin County. <laughs> yeah, Drake High. Drake, Drake. Yeah, we, they did the broadcast from the gym. Yeah, so Francis Drake High School. I was there. Yeah, you oh you went to that one at the gym. I went to that one. Yeah. Oh wow! Go all the way up there from. I must live Redwood City, Redwood City or San Jose. And you didn't come up to say hello, huh? I think I didn't. You said get away, nerd, or something like that. Don't bug me, kid. I said I'll I'll talk to you in about twenty, thirty years. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! No, my, I and I told you this before. I used to have because I brought my camera everywhere, and I had pictures uh, some of the breakfast of Bennett's with because I was be in in the. I would be in the front row because I would get there like at five thirty a.m. to get in line, mm -hmm. and like the guy from Boontown Rats, mm -hmm. and when he was there and did one of the Christmas ones or something at the Fairmont, I was right there, and I had great pictures, and I used to see those pictures as I moved around, and now I can't find them. So, really, yeah, David Geldof, David Geldof, yeah, Geldof. Bob Geldof. And Bunch of people, Bob yeah. Geloff, yeah, yeah, but a um, bunch of other people, comedians, and you, and Lori, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Josh, you ever go to one of your reunions? <laughs> I went to one. Yeah, I, I, I still live around here, so I, I see people around, you know, here and there, stuff like that too. So. No, but I'm saying, do you go to the reunions? Uh, I think I went to one. Yeah, I um, went to one. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Charlie? I've never gone to any of them. Never. Never. No. And you live in the same area, Charlie? No, Turn down your microphone. I'm 1,200 miles away from where I went to high school. Oh. <laughs> Turn your microphone down just a little bit, Brian, because it's kind of blasting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Jeff? I, I get them invited all the time. They send me a, a note to come and this and that and the other thing. But there's no personal relationship with these people yeah i i really don't I, 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 you know i wouldn't I, I don't know if i'd have anything to say to them uh, i never even went yeah. to a graduation before i didn't even go to my own so. you didn't go to your graduation or your prom i didn't go to any of that why would i i mean i was done i didn't i don't oh you didn't have to go to your graduation no, I mean, you're not required oh. to. I mean, if you're done, you know, you get your diploma, so. Yeah. I didn't go to any of that. College, high school, mm -hmm. none of it. How about you, Brian? You ever go to a reunion? Me? I mean, excuse me, uh, uh, Kevin. No. No. Didn't go to any of them. Okay. 
Mm. How about you? Uh, 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 man, my mind is all screwed up tonight. Tom? Yeah, I went to two. I went to my 10th, which is before I, I moved up from, uh, moved to the Bay Area from San Diego. Yeah. And then I went to the 50th because I reconnected with, with my high school graduate graduates yeah. through Facebook. So I went ahead and went down for the 50th. But um, they've had some yearly events after that that I have not gone to. So, yeah. Yeah. A Alan, did I ask you? Did you? Um, I did one time after about 10 years and, um, you know, like three of my classmates uh, had been in prison. And so <laughs> I didn't it's fit in real well yeah. once the announcer got on the radio and said, was naming who was successful and who wasn't, said, oh, by the way, Alan is a, a Fremont police officer. A third of the a third of the people in the room left because they probably had drugs on them. I didn't uh, care. Speaking so of I people care. getting older, I decided to take a look at the Golden Bachelor. Are oh. you aware of this thing? This is yeah. ABC's latest way of getting people to watch the Bachelor franchise. Really? And the Golden Bachelor is a guy who's seventy-one, something like that. Oh. Has hearing aids. There's two hearing aids. And, and uh, the difference between this show and the, the regular Bachelor, which I never watch, is that when he went out on his first date with something, somebody, all they did was discuss their dead, their dead spouses. And their ailments? No, no, yeah. no ailments. They didn't, do an or they, they didn't do an organ recital, as we like to call it. Were there any hot 70-year-olds? Um, there were a couple. There's one woman that's quite, quite attractive. She's, I think, getting to seventy, close to seventy. They're all, okay, yeah. So they're all late sixties yeah. or late seventies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, some of them, again, you know, some of them are very attractive. Some of them are quite attractive, uh, and others are uh, not at all. Anybody here watching it at all? No. I, I no, saw. I, yeah. I tell you, my. My sister gets called by her daughter, who looks on the internet and always finds something that she thinks is good for him. And she's got a new boyfriend recently, and it looks pretty good between both of them. Oh, really? She's in her 70s, mm. and she looks good. She looks good. And he her looks good. Her daughter is in her 70s? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying What's to. What's with you? Yeah, I'm, I was. Uh, let's see. When when I met Marjorie, I think I was. I, you were I was a, in my late seventies. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No, so, late sixties. Late sixties. No, yeah, you've been uh, together for at least fifteen years. That I oh, know really? About. Have we? Yes. <laughs> oh my God! Did you no, have to tell me that? Uh -huh. You ruined my evening now. <laughs> mm. Yeah. No, no. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we know Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, there's there's one lady who goes to the car shows, and I talk to her all the time. That girl, uh, you know, Candy Clark from mm -hmm. you know, American Graffiti. Yeah. Oh yeah. She goes to all the car show stuff. I have one of her autograph things. Yeah. And she was at one of the last shows, and I was hanging out with all the the my other Hall of Fame friends there. They're their yeah. customizers, and she was there. And yeah, she's in her seventies, and I was like, "Oh my God, she looks really good." But she yeah. has a huge. She's, a, she's a real feisty too. She is. Yeah, she yeah. used to hang out with like David Bowie. I don't know if yep. she or what, but David Bowie, and then yeah. she lives in L.A. And well, she I, think she I think she made a movie. I think she made a movie with David yeah. Bowie. She yeah, made she uh, uh, oh, the Man Who Fell to Earth. Man Who Fell to Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. right. That's right. On her Facebook, she keeps you know she'll pop up pictures from back then with him and. You know, with uh, Lloyd Bridges or all those guys, and they're very good friends. She said that, she said that uh, Paul Rubens, after he when he passed away, she says, "Wow, now wonder." And she posted this this thing that he sent her, like confessing his love to her, or whatever. You know, just saying so he, you know, he knew he was dying, and he just, you know, said, "Really, thanks so much for being in my life." And she was wondering what that was, and then you know, he passed well, away. Well, he knew he was dying for about five yeah. years. 
Wow. He had had a condition for about five years. Uh, but, uh, y you know, I mean, uh, well, there's no reason for people to not to look good. And who knows, you know, she's in show business, so she may have had yeah, some, yeah. she may have had some work had done enough. too. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I was shocked though. She's 70 something. Like, you may not realize it, but I've had some work done. <laughs> <laughs> we know. You're Your so eyes. attractive. <laughs> <laughs> The eyes have it. Yeah. This is actually what happens when you don't have work done, you know. Yeah. But my eyes, we did my eyes. Remember, we did my eyes. Yeah. But I had to do that. That was medical. Uh, yeah, because uh, uh, yeah, because I, your eyelids start coming down. In fact, that's what's happened to Biden that makes him look ha half of yeah. what makes him look so old. If you just have those eyes done, and from a medical standpoint, he should. Mm -hmm. He would look a lot less tired mm. okay but is anyway because asian girls they put these little pieces of tape they're they're like they're cut and they put them here and then it folds their eyes it has another eyelid to it what to make them what to make their eyes look rounder yeah to so they that, don't that's crease terrible eyes. that's terrible i know it's no it's like, terrible because they should be yeah. happy with who they are, you know, and they yeah. should be proud of their heritage and their the looks that come with that heritage yeah. and and to suddenly I know. you know Especially they can, do, they can do surgery with eyelids now and use foreskin and then the person would end up being cockeyed. We've heard <laughs> oh, that one God. before. What is old? I know, I'm sorry. That's pretty good for you. Can you yeah, pretty good for me. <laughs> the timing wasn't necessary. No, oh, it was good. I got a smile out of a few people. So. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I just, uh, you know, I, I just think that people should be proud of who they are, and uh, not worry about it. You know, is that why you had the surgery done? Uh, but why I had the surgery done was because it was a medical procedure. Oh, okay. Yeah. You couldn't. It was blocking your vision. Hey yeah. there, Adrian. How you doing, kiddo? Where are teeth? Look at the oh teeth. Oh my! Oh my! She uh, lost them, yeah. huh? I remember those days. Hey, I'm going to lose yeah. one in about a week and a half, but it's going to—it's not because I'm getting young, older. It's because they're pulling the tooth. But uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. And, well, this is the time of year when Dad could buy you a new set of teeth that you put in and out. Yeah. It's Halloween. Well, the thing I remember, I, when I was a kid, that was traumatic for me, having my teeth fall out. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And they all had to go. You know, and they would get loose, and then all of a sudden it was whether you wanted to, like, yank them or just let them ultimately just wind up in your cereal the next morning, you know? Yeah, there, there was. <clears throat> I was in Lodi last week. I uh, spent a couple nights up there for some work, and then she, uh, Tiffany, texted me pictures of uh of um uh dental floss tied around adrian's oh. tooth like this string and adrian's crying and then they're calling me but i was in the clean room so i didn't know and i came out and, and then adrian's crying she doesn't want her tooth pulled but the the, the, the dental floss was so tight she couldn't like cut the dental floss oh okay off. okay she was using so, Mommy said, either you're going to sleep like that or I'm pulling it out right now. And then Adrian's crying and then she won't get close to her. And I'm like on the phone at work, you know, I'm going, oh my I can't God, remember I'm though. How, how, how long does it take those teeth to grow back? I don't know. Her bottom one has grown pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. Pretty quick. Because I think Sometimes the reason, the, the reason to start growing in before the other one came out. Well, because yeah, exactly. the reason, no, the reason you're out. losing those teeth is because the new teeth. Yep. Is pushing yeah. it out. Are pushing it out. Yeah. yeah. Don't you have them pull your tooth, Alex, and maybe a new one will grow back in. <laughs> I wish it were that easy. Yeah. So why? <laughs> pull your hair out. The hair will grow back, too. Hey, listen, my you daughter, know. Huh? My daughter asked me to do that. I went up there and put my finger on and I went, and they came oh. right out. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. And she goes, thanks, Dad. Hey, Dad, by the way, that was my permanent tooth. It was the one next to it. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> no, that would cost me money. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean that's uh, you know to to it's um, you know I but I remember the whole process. I found it as a kid kind of agonizing, you know. I don't know. I got paid for every tooth, you know. Really? Tooth I remember that's 
that's that what she wanted. She wanted the money. <laughs> tooth fairy. There you go. You Wait know. a minute. You mean I? They had to pay me money for losing those teeth. I didn't. <laughs> I felt. I thought I had to pay them. Yeah. Well, yeah. the tooth fairy, as you slept at night, would put money under your pillow. I mean, every tooth I lost, I got twenty dollars. You know, mm. and I was happy. Yeah. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Got a quarter. I, mean, my, I think my in my I day it was a dime. When I was a kid. Uh, well, I got I mean, a quarter. You're a lot older than me, Charlie. I guess. I think it was a dime. If I remember correctly, it was like a dime. Small, I think I got twenty dollars for all my teeth. Yeah, oh. I have a dollar or two when my kids were small. I know. It's, fu I it's funny. I got a I got a dime Jeff then. Didn't get anything. I got a my dime then. Got it, and and to get a new tooth to come in now. Uh, I got to pay five thousand dollars. It it just isn't right. That's how times change. Well, yeah. let's start a GoFundMe for Alex's new tooth. <laughs> you, you, well, you know what's good though. I really think the whole idea of implants are very good because people who, for instance, would these days have to have a bridge now have implants. Uh, they implant a your, bridge. Your implants costing five thousand. It costs about that after everything had, is done. They I have, have to... one implant that yeah. was done five years ago. It was $9,000. They have come way down in price. Uh, I you had Delta Dental. And I didn't have any dental. Here we go again. Well, <laughs> and here we go. I didn't have any. <laughs> Screw you, Brian. Well, this one, I, this I didn't one. have dental at all then. So. This one they have to pull. Okay. And uh, then they have to... Uh, put in the the uh, the replacement and so all of that together between the pulling of the tooth which they charge you about eight hundred dollars to do and then you know on and on and on it all adds up you know then yep. you got to get the crown and then you got to get the temporary in there yep. no they uh, probably no temporary you know um they tell me though they may there, be they may be able there to. There it is again. It's again. Here yeah. it comes up again. What the, where, up where the up hell again. is that coming from? <laughs> it's only you. I've never seen it on any of the other people here. We yeah. should do it. I just saw it on Jeff. We should, do, we should do this like Jack Bishop. Let's start the show over again. Mm. Oh, did that miss Jeff? Okay, I didn't see it on Jeff. Man, I can't. I don't it. see it at all. I don't see it on Jeff either. I I've only seen no. it on Alex. I, I don't reflection. know why it does Whatever. that. I, I don't know where it's coming from or why it's coming there. Huh. Let me see mm -hmm. here. No, I don't see anything that's bringing it up. I wish I had a, an answer to this. I, I didn't see any, but nobody's touching their computers either, so I don't know. It's bizarre. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. They have a place over here that's implant only. So they have... They have that's all they do are implants. They don't do any dental work, no cleaning, no nothing. It's just a place that you go in there and you pay, and I don't know how much it is. I think Tiffany went there one time. And it's only implants. They do wham, bam, and get you out of there. Yeah, well, this one, they say they, if, if, the, if the bone is good, okay, and doesn't have to heal, he will do the first, he will do the implant the right afterwards. Put the post in there. Put yeah. the put the put the uh, yes the post or whatever you call it. I don't know if they call it a post. post. They screw it in. It's like a little screw. Yep. You know. But I mean, uh, um, a lot of money. A lot of money. Uh, Tony, you can't you, take it with you. Yeah. Yeah. I get, yes. You gotta look good. I plan to take it with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know who knows? Who knows? You get up there. You get up there to wherever you're going, and they say, "Oh, it's twenty dollars to get in." And you go, I didn't bring any change with me. Do you take yeah. take a card? <laughs> you know. Yeah, really. Because God's got to make a profit, doesn't he? Of course. Of course. You know. Hey, listen, uh, Kevin, good having you here tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, terrific. Uh, Tom Yamaguchi, geez almighty. I love it. love when, when your name pops up. Uh, uh, it, won't oh, say it won't be. It won't pop I'll up like the other thing. It, well, I, you know. What? Yeah. Yeah, can I just say one one thing before we go? Yeah. Uh, our new U.S. Senator. I I know her. Oh, uh, really? Alfred Butler. Good. Yeah, she's our former uh, union president. You know, I'm a member of uh, SCIU 2015. Oh, that's great. And I, I, known as but I, but I, got, I got you beat. The the uh, judge that... Uh, yeah, the judge. Yeah, the, the judge always got... Yeah. The thumped uh, Trump uh, is was my judge. Yeah. Yeah. Alfonso Butler. She's a great person. Yeah. Really Judge Engeron, great guy. 
you know, so okay. we have something Great. in common. I congratulations for knowing a senator finally. <laughs> you know. Anyway, and thanks to you for being here. I really appreciate it, Tom. Always do. Josh, good having you here. Didn't get much to say tonight because nothing much came up, you know. Uh, 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 our good friend uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you. Jeff Stein, thank you. Thank you to Brian, and thank you to Alan. What you should all do is give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wee, a wee, a big wave goodbye at you, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. And uh, anyway, hey, listen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We'll see you again on Monday. We do the pop-up show. Yes, that's what it's called, the pop-up show. That's on, uh, on uh, 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 you'll find it on uh, 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 God, uh, Facebook. Okay, and then on the Wednesday, we're back here at 10.30, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.